Hey everyone, Simon Says Money here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I would like to present what would happen if Bitcoin goes away. The government could start deregulating Bitcoin and it could disappear, or maybe not. We should discuss the both sides. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell notification. I post content on the stock market and investing. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor or CPA. Please use your own investment decision. Let's go out there, make some money, and let's get on to this video by first showing the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin hit a record high of $61,800 over the weekend, nearly doubling its value this year. As the Beepo NFT sale continued to draw attention to the cryptocurrency space as well as more institutional investors. Before we get into the analysis of Bitcoin's price, let's take a quick look at what Beepo NFT is. What is an NFT? It's a non-fungible token. And how did an artist called Beepo sell one for $69 million at Christie's? Last Thursday, a digital collage of hundreds of weird brightly colored images with colorful art every day the first 5,000 days made by a South Carolina artist known as Beepo sold at the prestigious Christie's auction for $69.3 million. The staggering price is the third highest ever for a work by a living artist. The art or collage is entirely digital and affect the buyer, a blockchain investor who goes only by the name of Meta Kovan, bought it. What sets it apart though is that this specific file is an NFT or non-fungible token. Using the same principles behind cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, NFTs allow people to claim ownership over specific digital files such as songs, videos, or static images. Beeple, whose real name is Mike Winkleman, is the latest beneficiary of a rush into NFTs that's a side effect of the fast growing interest in digital currencies and the technology behind it. But then Bitcoin price pulled back 7% to the $56,000 level on reports that India would propose a law banning cryptos, giving holders of the virtual assets up to 6 months to liquidate. The bill, one of the strictest policies against cryptocurrencies, would criminalize everything from possession, issuance, and mining to trading and transferring crypto assets. Why is India doing this? It's not the first nation to take action against Bitcoin, with similar bans or restrictions in the past seen in countries like China, Pakistan, Bolivia, North Macedonia, and Morocco, but all of these bans or restrictions only temporarily set Bitcoin to drop a bit and bounce back quickly. There are concerns that Bitcoin's decentralized system will make it more complicated for central banks to create their own CBDs or central bank digital currencies as well as worries that cryptos could be used to finance illicit activities. Bringing forth a Bitcoin ban would be legally difficult for the US government, but even if it would go through, enforcing the ban would be the harder part of the equation. Unless the government would exert strict control over the internet, individuals could download Bitcoin wallet software, run a node, and complete transactions. That may render the currency out of the realm of the widespread adoption, but could also increase its demand for the exact same reason. Over the last decade, Bitcoin has also made inroads into the US financial system where it is treated as a commodity. So a ban could face other barriers like stymieing innovation and closing down institutions overseeing billions of dollars in crypto assets. However, Treasury Secretary Yellen sounds warning that extremely inefficient way to conduct monetary transactions using Bitcoin. Yellen said there remain important questions about legitimacy and stability of Bitcoin. In February, when she said this, the cryptocurrency's price tumbled. So on Wednesday, when Jay Powell holds his briefing, will he say something similar to that of Yellen? That's a big question mark and we should all be tuning in and see what he should say about Bitcoin. Truly, if Jay Powell says something negative about cryptos, all of the cryptos and its related stocks such as BTC, ETH, MARA, RIOT, CAN, SOS, and EBON will tumble again. In my previous videos, I analyzed CAN and SOS. Here I add EBON. Let's take a look at EBON, eBank International Holdings. 
through its subsidiaries, engages in the research, design, and development of application-specific integrated circuit chips and manufacture of Bitcoin mining machines. So it is also a Bitcoin shovel company. Looking at the chart, it is very, very volatile, I got to say. The high was right here on February 18th of this year when this went up 7.73% to $13.70 and then it went all the way back down to its low from the last couple of weeks. March 5th of this year at $4.83. Now it's trading at $11.29. So very volatile, we could see the past two weeks. According to my research, eBank International Holdings, EBON, CleanSpark, CLSK, and the Nine Limited, and CTY, are three crypto stocks which could witness a pullback if Bitcoin undergoes a correction because of their relative high valuation. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. These are my thoughts on the Bitcoin cryptocurrency space. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I think they will be a huge, huge space to be in in the future. That's why I am invested in Bitcoin, Ethereum, I have some Dogecoin, and some of these blockchain stocks. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on these Bitcoin blockchain stocks, and we should see what j -Pow, what he has to say on Wednesday. Again, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.